Greetings everyone, Shane here at the Brick House, back again with another video. Lego has announced the 36 product ideas that have qualified for the third round of the 2022 Lego Ideas Review. And in this video, I'm going to go through all 36 sets, so let's get right into it. The first set is the Ancient Roman Temple by HP Brickster, and this set looks absolutely fantastic. This is definitely a set I'd love to see make it. Set number two is Castle Dracula by Ivan Ha. Once again, this is an incredible looking set. Um, it looks a bit like a modular, so I'm not sure it'll be chosen, but I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Set number three is This Is Fine by Lego Truman, followed by set number four, Pac-Man Moving Display by Light Bricks. Set number five is Pixar's Up House with Balloons by Vico, and number six is The Lost City by Let's Go. I think this set is definitely one of my favorites. It looks absolutely beautiful, and I'd love to see this set chosen and designed. Set after that is Japanese Courtyard Garden by Coffee Panda. This is another set I like a lot, followed by The Travel Suitcase by Brick Dangerous. Set number nine is BOTW Temple of Time by Lego Overwatch. And this is another fantastic looking set. I think the details are absolutely phenomenal. Um, once again, I think it looks a little bit like a modular, so it might not be chosen. But the quality of this build is just incredible. Set number 10 is the Wright Flyer by Combine Bricks. Followed by set number 11, Classic Thunderbirds by Andrew Clark 2. Set after that is JWST by Tony's My Uncle. And number 13 is the Golden Clifftop Temple by First Order Luca. This is a set I think is really nice looking as well. Set number 14 is The Cypher Machine by Norders. Set number 15 is Sewer Heroes Fighting the Fatberg by Mockingbird. Followed by set number 16, The London Underground by Lego Overwatch. I think this set is one of the most unique sets I've seen in a long time. It's like a modular, but it has the underground train beneath it. This set is similar to Sewer Heroes, but I just think the theme is a little bit more appealing to most people. This is a set I'd love to see designed. Set after that is the Lego Architects House by Let's Go. This is a set that I put in a recent video about nine modulars that I think are better than the Jazz Club. And this house, I think, looks phenomenal. Set after that is Community by Bulldozer followed by the never-ending story 40th anniversary by face brick up another set is number 20 the old western train station by face brick up and this set reminds me of the old western theme that lego used to have i think this set looks phenomenal and this is another set i would love to see designed set after that number 21 is the zoo by code Lovag. i just think this set looks phenomenal the creativity of it is just unbelievable i don't know if it's a popular enough theme for lego to actually build it I don't know how many people would like to have a zoo display but this set is definitely one of my favorites I think it's incredibly unique and I just think it looks fantastic set number 22 is Jaws by Diving Faces followed by number 23 modular arcade by Avila Brick this is another modular that I said I actually liked more than the Jazz Club um, in a recent video I just posted and of course I'd love to see this designed set number 24 is house with open shutters by Lucas data number 25 is cat by the yellow brick followed by number 26 lover house by frilly badger 84 number 27 is jack skeleton's house by larago 23 um, this comes from, I think, The Nightmare Before Christmas, so this is probably a licensed set. Set after that is The Clock Tower Park by Jiwoo. I think this designer is one of the best LEGO designers out there. He had something called The Library and The Opera House. This Clock Tower Park is one of the most beautiful sets I've ever seen and I would love for this to be designed. This just exemplifies, in my opinion, everything the LEGO Ideas set is all about. It looks absolutely stunning and beautiful in its simplicity. Set after that is the Alpine Refuge by the Castle Fan. Number 30 is the Mechanical Flip Clock by Serials Brick and Pets. I like the mechanical movement of this. I think it's really unique if it works and can actually tell time. Um, my only concern is most people check time through their smartphones now, and a lot of people don't even have clocks anymore so I'm not sure it would be designed. Set number 31 is The Japanese Castle by LEGO Overwatch. This is another set that I like a lot, um, but it looks a bit like a modular, so I'm not sure it would get developed. And number 32 is The Wizard's Retreat by Farm Farm. This is another set I think looks pretty good. Set number 33 is Wallace and Gromit by Vico. Set number 34 is Fantozy Takes the Bus on the Fly by Nastranada. Number 35 is Willow, Battle of Tear Asleen. 
by Monty Mott, and the final set is Dog's Fun Park, playable dog run by Pettits. Once again, another mechanical moving one. I think this is kind of clever. It reminds me a little bit of the miniature golf um, idea set that wasn't chosen a while back, but definitely a fun idea. So those are the 36 ideas. There's about 15 or 20 that I think are absolutely fantastic. I think this is one of the strongest Lego ideas group I've seen in quite a while. Hopefully they're going to pick one that I really love. Let me know which ones are your favorite. That's my video for today. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.